Well, uh, I got I got a positive thing here. Robert Barich, 8.5. I know Matt's about to take off here very shortly. I wanted to get his rating on Robert Barich. Getting rated as an 8.5. Chicago Fire Player of the Year. Nominee for the Newcomer of the Year in MLS. Uh, possibly deservedly so. 12 goals in 23 games is a good haul for a first-year striker. Not bad. Uh, constantly puts himself in a great scoring positions. He can score with both feet as well as head. He can hold up. Uh, he has strong hold to play. He was an obvious stitch in the side for defenders and that with the number of fouls he was drawing all season long. And if MLS plays a normal length next season, maybe he scores more goals and gets better service from those out of around him. And maybe he could hit 20 goals in 2021 with more games. Yeah. Yeah. Robert Barrett, um, I think 8.5 is a little too high. 7.5? 8, 7.58. He's very quality. Obviously finished second in, uh, Golden Boot tied with Jesse Zardes, maybe someone I can't remember who. Regardless, he's good and and also take into account he didn't score till like five games in. So if you disregard that, that's twelve goals in what like seventeen, sixteen games, which that's a lot better. Uh, obviously, I don't need to say that's a lot better. You guys know that. But new nominee for newcomer of the year, deservedly so. It's it's true he played well is he a significant upgrade from nico that's the question that a lot of people love um to throw around my personal opinion he's actually a lot more similar to nico than people give him credit for uh he's a dog in the box he's just trying to get that last touch but what separates him from nico's ability to hold up the ball which we saw so much throughout the season um if that's able to actually produce into something beneficial for the attack then i i'll feel comfortable saying that he's a a more well-rounded striker than Nico, but I actually see a lot more similar similarities in him than a lot of people give him credit for. He's a, he's a good striker. He's got a, a, a pretty good work ethic. Um, now I want to see what he's able to do. Once again, when you surround him with wingers that are really good at their job, like I said, you know, Sikulic, who in my opinion, not a great crosser, Frankowski, meh, Aliceta, if he's trying to cross from that left side, he has no left foot. He's always cutting into the middle. Feed him service in the box and let him go to work. And I think he could get a 20-goal 20, 20 season, 25-goal season. Let him go to work. You just need to surround him with pieces. And that also comes down to having an attacking mid, which you don't have right now. You had Georgie, um, who had a really good connection to Barich, actually. Probably majority of his assists were to, to Barich. But you need to, you need to help him uh, um, you know, get the ball in the box, and, and he'll go to work. Dessert, and he's a he's a good striker. I'm happy with Barrich. Rossi with 14 goals led the league. Giassi Zardes, Raul Ruidiaz, and Robert Barrich all with 12. And that's that's really good to see because Giassi Zardes was on you know the the team that won MLS Cup. Raul Ruidiaz was on the team the 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 runner up of MLS Cup and LAFC was in the Champions or Concacaf Champions League final. These are good teams, and he's up there with the best. You know, strikers in the league. And these guys are having all the production that we need Barrich to get. Diego Rossi as Carlos Vela. You know, Jesse Zardes as Lucas Zelleron and Raul Rio Diaz as Lodero and Morris feeding him balls. And Robert Barrich was able to stay up with them with guys like Fabian Herbers and Frankowski. You give him a I, couple extra yeah. guys, he'll be able to take the next step. And I, I think he's a, easily a golden boot contender. George Mihalovic tied fourth in the league. Tied for fourth in the league with assists, by the way. I'm, I mean, I think that with that whole thing of, like, all these other teams are doing better, the thing with the fire is that I, I said this I said this in the first half, which was just they were so confusing. I don't understand. They played the exact same way every single game but got very, very wildly different results. So you you know how we got like you know we won four nothing and then we'd lose big, so it's I don't I don't know what exactly that lose says big about to anything. an MLS third string goalkeeper too. Yeah, so it's I don't know exactly what that says about anything, but what I do know is that Barrich getting goals, the Fire scored a lot of goals. We also scored a lot of goals in single games and then we didn't score goals at all in other in other games. And that's that's the big thing with this team is just consistency and I don't understand how to differentiate it. And so when it comes to Barrage, 
being a big goal scorer, you're going to expect that out of a team that's scoring a lot of goals. But with just in general on this team, it's just I don't I don't know what this team wants anymore, uh, what this team is anymore. We don't really look to have a plan. I well, think that when it when it comes to the comparison of Nico and Barrich, Nico was a good striker. Barrich is a good forward. Nico was a poacher. He pushed forward all the time. Barrich is a good forward. He is he can play at the yeah, tip, that's but he's going to be yeah. playing there. I like that. That that's that's good. I think what's really interesting about recent fire teams going back to like when Blanco left was we've always had issues finishing in the box mm -hmm. or just finishing in general. Um, and that trend is continuing with this team with obviously Frankowski and Seda had some misses and even Barrich did too. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens if we're able to solve that. Are we able to solve that? Probably not. <laughs> like this is just always an issue fire teams have, but if we're, if we're able to convert, you know, half of what we put on target that should have gone in in the first place, uh, we'll we'll see Barrich not only be at the top of the Golden Boot standings, but we'll probably even see the fire in the playoffs. Barrich definitely developed into a bright spot. I was a little sour on him. Uh, I was happy he signed. I was excited when he signed, but the first few games I soured on him a little bit. And then, uh, as his content please pointed out, I think a great comment. He started very slow, but once he picked up steam. He couldn't be slowed down, and then he started to prove everybody wrong who was uh, naysaying in the beginning. IDE Crow on Barrich, absolutely. Uh, and uh, he looks like uh, one of the brighter spots on this team that was not a good team. Uh, he looks like he could be a producer for uh, a good team. Absolutely. 